Hello everybody, this is Brett Darian, and today we're going to be looking at another boombox. This is the Sony CFD-S70. I've had this boombox for about a year now, so I've been using it to record a few cassette tapes and listen to the radio, so I'm just going to give you my thoughts on, on how it performs and how it sounds. Now this is another modern boombox that you can still buy in stores today. It usually sells for about $60. You might be able to find it for a little less online. Um, but this one, this is a Sony brand so you would think it would be pretty good. Uh, but I don't think it's actually made by Sony. It's just, you know, some other company made it and put their name on it. I did briefly show this boombox in my Victrola boombox review video, so if you haven't seen that video, feel free to go and watch it. I will have a link in the description below. So let's just have a look at the boombox first. Uh, once again, it has a cassette player right here. This is the cassette door, and when you open it up, uh, you can see it just immediately uh, pops right out. It's very cheap. It's very snappy. Um, it's, it's just spring-loaded. So, nothing fancy there. It also has a CD player, and the CD door is also spring-loaded. It's very cheap. There's nothing locking it in or anything. So, you know, not very high quality there. Um, the speakers are about three inches. So this, so the sound isn't very loud. It's not, you know, it's not that great. But for most people, this sound would be okay. And it also has a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack, which is right here. And it also has a headphone out jack. And this is the back. It has, of course, your radio antenna and your power in. And it can also run on six C batteries if you choose to do so. So it's a good thing that's an option. So anyway though, um, so let's just plug it in, I have it, I've got the wire right here, so I'm just going to plug it in, there you go. Uh, now when you first plug it in, have it turned off, it just says standby right there on the screen. Not sure how well you can see that, uh, but it says standby right there. And you turn it on and it will automatically try to play a CD um, but obviously there's no CD in here so it will not find a CD to play so to turn on the radio you just simply press the FM AM button and then it'll turn the radio on so it also has a digital volume control so you see here it goes from 5, 4, 3 and then you can turn it up So it actually gets pretty loud. So let's try tuning in a station. So you can press the tune buttons here to increase the frequency. And you can do it really slow. Or you can also press and hold the tune button and that will make it seek to the next frequency that is live. But Sometimes it's a little finicky and it will just stop on a frequency that's just very fuzzy. So there's a station. There's another station. The verse reads in the new And that's a very weak station. The sources in You know, so you get the idea. So that's a seek feature. And you can also put favorites. So you have three buttons here, one, two, and three. And these are your favorite radio stations. So if you press the button right here uh, when you're on a station, the radio will beep and then it'll be locked into that favorite. So right now if I press one, of course it'll be on 93.9. And if I change change the frequency like this, and of course if I press 1, then it jumps back to 93.9. So you can do that uh, for three stations on the favorite list. And you also have 20 presets, 
uh, with digital presets. So you have four, three, two, one. And to set a preset, it, it's kind of um, weird. Um, let's see. Uh, let's try, you know, like this one here. Uh, what you got to do is you press and hold the enter button. Then the presets will come up and it'll be flashing. So then you change the preset you want this to be on. Let's say 10. And then you press enter again. Maybe twice. No, just once. And now that preset will be uh, that station. So preset 10 is 106.5. So that's how you do that. So it's nice. It's nice that it has a digital tuner, a digital AM FM radio tuner. So that allows you to set these presets and quickly go to them if you want. You know, now as for reception, I mean, it's pretty average. Uh, depending on how you have the antenna pointed, some stations may come in weaker and some may come in better. So, you know, so it's, um, so it's not bad. The FM reception is good, um, though I do think there are better radios with better FM reception, but this one's okay. So now we'll switch to AM, see how that is real quick. Once again, I'm not too familiar with the AM stations around here, so but, but we'll see what we can pick up real quick. There's on one the station are there. Are you going to ride and fall, rise and fall with the Bake Show? Yeah, but I really don't know what stations there are around here to really go to. Might be a 1400 somewhere station. But yeah, the seek function does not really work well on AM. Because it's just stopping on the next, the next frequency up. So there's a station there. So anyway, though, yeah, AM reception doesn't seem to be too great, uh, but, you know, most people don't listen to AM anyway, so I wouldn't really, you know, be too concerned about that. And one other thing I want to note about these favorite buttons here, uh, they only work for three stations only. It doesn't really matter what band they're on. So if I set this station as a favorite, uh, let's say three, uh, that will be the only station number three goes to. So you can't have three individual stations for FM, and then another three stations for AM. It just automatically, so they press that, that goes to FM, and then that goes to AM. So you can't separate them. There's only just three favorites, and that's it, no matter what band they're on. So let's try playing a cassette real quick. And this time I have a cassette single. Uh, this, is, uh, this was a thrift store find. It was really cheap. And the tape, it looks really high quality. Uh, this tape actually has Dolby B noise reduction, and it was also recorded with HX Pro, so pretty good. So we'll just pop this in real quick. We'll press play. So you're scared to show your feelings. Maybe I do understand. And this boombox also has a mega bass feature, uh, uh, which was turned on for the clip that you just heard. So now I'm going to turn it on and off while listening, and you will hear the difference. We spend all our time together. We can't stand the So the Mega Bass does improve the audio quite a bit. In fact, I would just leave it on the entire time. There's really no reason to turn it off. I mean, unless you really like tinny sounding music. So let's actually try playing a CD. And for this, I actually do have a sealed brand new CD. This one is Magic in the Streets 
Parade Memories from Walt Disney World. The thrift store had two of these. They were only a dollar each, so I actually got both of them. Because they originally sold for $19.98. I'm guessing these were sold at Disney World. Or they may have been sold at a Disney store. But anyway, yeah, so we'll, so we'll pop this in and we'll see what it sounds like. It's been a long time since I actually bought a CD. So... It's been a long, very long time. And this one also has those labels on the top. So we gotta try to peel that off. This also has a copyright year of 2001. So it's definitely, so this label has been on here a long time. Okay, I finally got the sticker on the top off. That took longer than I would have liked to. Anyway though, so this is the case. Here's the disc. It's a very nice looking disc. So I'm guessing this is just music from parades or something. I'm not entirely sure. But we'll find out. So you put it right onto the spindle. Now it's reading the disc. Preset button is what skips tracks. Mickey Mouse to Animal Kingdom. Mickey Mouse to Animal Kingdom. Come in, Animal Kingdom. This is Animal Kingdom Control. We read you loud and clear. Please proceed with broadcast. Hiya, pals. Mickey Mouse here. Just wanted to give you an update on our position. If my calculations are correct, me and the gang ought to be at the Animal Kingdom real soon. So get ready for a wild adventure, because our German Jungle Expedition is coming to town. <laughs> Fellow adventurers, please prepare. Now we'll go to track four. And track five is showbiz. Track six is discovery. Track seven is adventure. And track eight, share a dream come true. They say it started very small, as most dreams do. So a very nice CD, I suppose, and it sounds pretty good. So if you want to use the audio input, you just simply press the audio in button and then that switches it to the auxiliary in function and then then you just simply play your music through it. I'm going to demonstrate using my phone. So overall this boombox isn't too bad for the price. Um, there definitely are boom boxes that sound better and have more bass and are also higher build quality. But for $60 uh, for a modern boom box that you can still buy in stores today, this is probably one of the better ones. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my review of this Sony CFDS70 boom box. If you did, feel free to give me a like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and all that stuff. And I thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.